with another video. Today is January 17th, 2020, and I'm a little late with getting my vision board and my goals together for 2020. Um, this is a new decade. I want to do things differently and kind of just really get my goals right in front of me so that I'm really able to obtain and accomplish them this year. So I just kind of wanted to show you all how I'm going to be doing my vision board for this year, 2020, and show you the different type of goals and things that I'm going to have on there, as well as how to make sure that we obtain these goals for 2020. All right, let's go. Okay, so things that you will need uh, to do your vision board. Um, obviously, the handy dandy poster, um, but I just got um, some markers and some pens, some colorful markers and pens, just if I wanted to write down things. Um, and then a glue, some glue sticks or tape, whichever one you prefer, scissors, magazines. Um, I don't have magazines that get delivered to my home, but I went and bought some. And magazines are a little pricey. I did not realize that. Um, this one was $5.99, and I want to say Oprah's was maybe $6.99. Um, um, but they're just a little bit pricier. It's probably easier to just go on Google and print out different things. I did print out some certain things off Google, too. Um, I got some random stickers from Michael's and the Dollar Store um, that I may or may not use. And then some sparkly paper just to maybe possibly um, do some different things with. Uh, just to give the vision board a little bit of a pop. So first step would be writing out those goals. You want to make sure that you're looking at them and visualizing those goals and seeing them right in front of you. It's easier if you write it out before you start looking for images and other things like that. Otherwise, you will get a little bit confused. Make sure your images actually relate to the goals that you've created. You don't want to just cut out a lot of random pictures and quotes and phrases. You want to make sure the images that you're cutting out are actually things that relate to the goals that you're trying to accomplish. like this is just the right amount to get my point across and remind me of all those goals that I want to obtain for this year um, 2020 so I'm just going to go over everything so that you all can kind of get an idea of why I put these different things on my board my vision board so I'm um, starting at the top 2020 obviously new year um, big plans I'm a Capricorn so I put that on there uh, a little snippet of a scripture I can do anything through Christ uh, which is a snippet of that uh, Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me 
um, everything that's going to happen to you next year. Um, so I put that on here just to say, like, these are the things that I want to happen to me this year. So just thinking from the 2019 perspective, this is what I want to happen for me the next year. Um, so we can start with family. I sectioned all this stuff off by um, specific areas. So travel, business, family, body and soul, um, finances. I just sectioned it off like that. Family. That's my husband, daughter, and me. I just really want to focus more on spending time with my family and my husband um, and my daughter. She'll be entering into um, preschool next year, so I really want to work with her because that's a little scary situation to have her going out into the real world and to preschool and things like that. Um, so I want to focus on that. Black love, focusing on me and my husband, family time. Um, I thought this quote was cute, uh, working 14 hours a day until you're 55 and missing your kids growing up is not what I would consider a recipe for happiness, which is true. I definitely want to spend more time with um, my family so that I'm not missing out on anything. Um, body and soul, that's more so focused on like my weight loss and um, just getting myself together mentally. I did a lot of work on myself last year in terms of physically and mentally. So I just want to continue to maintain that this year as well as um, increase it as well this year. So um, in terms of my weight loss, I lost about 40 pounds last year. I want to weight lose a little bit more as well as tone up my body as well. And then my home. I want to really focus on my kitchen and living room and family room, getting those areas fully furnished and um, decorated. Uh, we've been in this house about three years, so I want to make sure that uh, all those areas are completely done by the end of this year, or at least to the point where you know I'm satisfied with how they look. Um, wealth, more so finance. Um, they did not have a um, anything I couldn't find anything that said finances so I just put wealth there but um, I want to get my credit cards fully paid off this year I have about three major credit cards and I want to get rid of one of them at least so I just want them to be paid off and be able to get rid of one um, let's see travel um, I do want to go to Carabana this year um, I want that to be like a little girl's trip. That's why I got Yes Girl here. And then I do also want to go on some type of tropical trip. Welcome versus Welcome to Paradise with my husband or either as a family with my daughter or my husband. Something like that. But just being able to at least do two to three trips um, this year, hopefully. And then this is the business area. Um, I, I do have a, a balloon decor company. Um, and I want to be able to focus on marketing more towards corporations and doing more corporate events, um, corporate Christmas parties, things like that. I do a lot of baby showers and birthday parties, um, different things like that. So I want to do more um, marketing towards that corporate world. And then YouTube, I'm just starting out with the YouTube, so I just want to be able to see that growth within by the end of this year, hopefully at 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I definitely want to be able to make that goal, so I'm going to be working hard and getting these videos out to you guys, so like and subscribe if you're watching this. And then um, getting organized. Uh, I did get a planner this year, which will help me be more organized with keeping up with appointments and different things going on with the family and planning out our meals and things like that. So I definitely want to make sure that I'm staying on top of things and being organized with our life in general. All right, so this is the whole thing. I'm gonna post this up in my room. I'll show you guys where I posted at um, so that I'm always looking at this. That's another thing that you always wanna make sure you have your vision board posted somewhere or your goals posted somewhere so that you're able to see those on a regular basis. You wanna be able to definitely be able to remind yourself of those when it comes to six months into the year and you may have forgotten all about this. So you wanna be able to see it and be able to know that yes i have reached, reached that goal or i've almost met that goal all right thanks guys